planning for my project for the master class was um it was an interesting process for me apart from the fact that um it took off the moment where my father's death during my father's death well when he became sick and then he passed away so and then we were given the the theme of hope which i think was very apt but very very challenging at the same time so uh i was thinking and through the recommendation of a good friend um he said like why look away like why look for other bigger issues or you know important issues just look at your your home front photography was uh i was like i was exposed to it at a very young age um from my grandfather who was a journalist back in the 60s and the 70s and my father my late father was also a photographer um but he was more into the like government like he 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 worked for the government so um it was it was very interesting well looking at looking at it now looking back at it it was very interesting because nothing was really forced to me but it was all there like my dad would always show me um his life magazines and national geographic and then camera 35 so but he never like showed me um or he only showed me a specific type which is like photo essays um i think again thinking back at it i think it was his way of showing his frustration that he wasn't able to carry it out so and then when i was started to to practice it when i went freelance uh, some years ago and doing my own personal projects i think that was a time that i really was like okay so this is how he he was trying to teach me also i had a minor regret of not taking a lot more pictures or documenting the last days of my dad so i was only able or was only brave enough to do it um later on just like moments before he passed so in his deathbed and during the wake and then during the cremation and all that so after that i think um that carried on my project um i focused on people who are terminally ill or diagnosed with a very advanced stage of mostly cancer um and i used the my experience because when going back to the story of my dad when he was diagnosed i i looked for all of the ways except for medical the, the medical science because they said that they couldn't do anything anymore so after that uh i looked for different ways like spiritual um herbal all the homeopathic and that experience i tried to translate in in the story that i did so i looked for different people um i went to um areas in the philippines where they did spiritual healing herbal healing and then also i went to i i tied up with a with a hospice that takes care of indigent cancer patients or terminally ill patients so they would go to different people and um take care of them and lastly like i also went to a, a hospice that takes care of children who were undergoing um treatment for for their um uh illness so all in all uh, i was just taking bits and pieces of the experiences of all these people and trying to show it as a as a story and the title was from a from a poem uh by Dylan Thomas uh which is also recommended by the same friend against the dying of the light so because i think in that moment um my idea of hope was to make my father survive but through the whole process of experiencing um his sickness and the whole family and also like talking to other people who are sick and their families i think hope wasn't survival hope became um it became a sort of transition or acceptance on how to deal with their sickness or illness or how to make everybody comfortable for a easier transition to whatever may happen survival or you know moving on to pass away in this one in this project i had to confront a huge fear of intimacy like being very close and not even taking pictures it's more of like listening to people their experiences and then a little bit later on and how you transcend um how you how i illustrate the story so it was interesting and very very challenging for me until now because i plan to continue the story so far i think what i've learned from the masters here and even with my with my peers uh, the 11 other participants which has 
which is doing like really amazing work. Um, I think there's no other way, but you just have to you just have to believe in your project and in what you do, because no one else would um, fight for you or like explain it for you. At the start of the masterclass, they were asking us to explain in one word your expectation. I wrote clarity in mind. So little by little, I think there has been everything starting to get more clear. So when I get back to the Philippines, uh, I have to carry out certain. I think I know how to carry out now uh, certain projects that has been bugging me that I know that I need to let out, but don't know how exactly or doesn't have the skill or I'm not asking the right people. But now after this, I think I'll be more empowered to, to do it.